there's no reason why you can't have thick lush growth on a no filter tank as I've shown. What is that noise? Right then, oh, I don't know if you're wonky or not, let me just fix that. First things first, let's just talk about the tank in general. Let me sit back and focus please, there we go. So I've not done anything to the tank at all since the last video and you can see that to be fair. Look at how much that hydrocotter is just growing up the middle there, look at that. <laughs> all the way to the surface, which is great because like it means I can propagate it. I won't propagate it in this tank because as you can see there's already tons of hydrocotter in there. Um, but yeah, it's really healthy, it's doing great, there's tons of new babies, there's tons of new baby shrimp, snails, it's just so much life in here going on. Right, let's have a little look around, shall we? Let's see what we've got. The first generation of babies is now big enough to sort of be out in the open. You can just see one. Where'd he gone? Oh, no, that's a shrimp. There he is, look. There you go. So they're out in the open now. They're not worried about getting eaten or anything like that. Um, they're part of the group. Um, I think there's about five or six that survived um, and, and were strong enough and not stupid enough to get eaten, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, in terms of overall health, I'm really happy with the tank in general, but it does look a bit of a mess if we're honest. A beautiful mess, don't get me wrong, but it just needs taming a bit. And plus, if I do give it a bit of a trim, all these areas here will just get more and more compact. That rotala at the back will grow a lot better. I don't actually like whatever the hell that is, so I'm gonna trim that right back and hopefully try and get it to be a bit more dense. The hygrophila polysperma there is growing a bit weird because obviously the blanket at the top, or carpet or blanket of the duckweed keeps forcing it down, but again, not an issue. It's all part and parcel of Oh, there's a baby as well. There he is. So I've got two kinds of babies. I've got these proper yellowy, sort of typical female type Endler babies. And I've got the dark grey ones as well, which is good to show that there's some different breeding action going on. I might get some different strains, whatever. There's generic, look. Everyone's favourite is generic. Generic, stay still so I can focus on you, please. That's it. There we go. Looking really good. In a minute, I'll clear out all this stuff out of the way, all the duckweed, and we can get a better look. In fact, let's do that now. Let's clear the duckweed out, and then we can see what we're dealing with, and possibly start doing a bit of trimming. this really thick rotala rotunda folia that got the back here is I actually want to trim it and replant it so that's what you'll see me doing now. next job let's trim this foreground it's looking really lush but if we trim it it'll grow even better
Right, well that's looking incredibly fresh. Obviously there's bits all floating in the water and whatnot, but you know, such is life with a no-filter tank. But the uh, the glass has actually got quite a bit of um, really fine sort of algae on it. It's, it's, it's not a problem usually, but you can really notice it now that there's no duckweed. So I'm just going to use my old scrubber here just to clean it up. <laughs> okay that's it done for now i'll come back in the morning it's quite late actually at the moment so i'm out here in my shed at like 12 o'clock at night but you know i'm addicted to all this never mind um yeah look fish are enjoying themselves there's so many more um shrimp in here than i actually thought as well I've, as i was trimming along the front here i could just see the tiny tiny little shrimplets are just popping around everywhere i'll try and get some footage of that and overlay it here if i can there's one of them up there now i don't know, I don't know if you see that but yeah um i think that looks really nice <laughs> And just by trimming it, it'll actually make it grow even thicker and, and really nice. But that being said, that that looks good too. Uh, maybe some more shape another time. I don't know. Whatever. It still looks good. I'm going to leave it at that for now and uh, catch back up in the morning. Right then, it's the next day and the water's cleared substantially. What the hell am I doing with my hands? <laughs> the water's cleared substantially. I need to put floating pl plants back in the top uh, like I have on my nature aquarium. I don't want to do it all thick like it was. That was just leaving it to get out of hand. But it does need something because that light is way too strong for this tank with, you know, decent level of fish in there creating waste, lots of shrimp, lots of snails. It's just a, a recipe for disaster algae wise. So let's get some coverage in there and then we can move on. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, hopefully you did. If you did, give it a like, click subscribe, because uh, it won't be long before this feels right back in again and looking real thick, a lot thicker than before. It looked a little bit sort of spindly, wiry before with the plants, but this trim back should hopefully get it just really thick. There's no reason why you can't have thick, lush growth on a no-filter tank, as I've shown. What is that noise? Anyway, as I've shown on uh, many of other tanks, so. So I'll give it another month of growth, then I'll do an update video and then see how we're getting on. See, the baby should have grown by then, um, everything should have grown by then, more adults. Hopefully the babies will get some coloration on them by them so we can see which who's the parents are. Yeah, it'd be quite interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.